When these three boys ventured into the woods Monday afternoon, we're going to do something fun in our lives. And uh... but after a while, the fun became fear. Seven year old Leo and nine year olds Kai and Jojo entered the woods behind Otter Branch Road in Magnolia following a creek. Kai and Leo's grandmother got worried. Once an hour had hit, I said to my husband, we have to call the police. They would not, we can't, they're not on any road. We can't see them anywhere. So police from Magnolia and other neighboring towns started looking. Creek bed was uh, inch deep to chest deep. Uh, it was covered in branches and rubble and it was fed by uh, sewer. So the sewer, um, like the, the runoff was in there too. We had family members and friends out in cars looking for them in the wooded areas. But what it really took was four legs and a good nose. Found numerous footprints, their kids shoes. She led us in the right direction throughout the entire process. Shiloh is used to this. The two and a half year old bloodhound is trained to follow a scent, in this case, a blanket. Working for the Gloucester County Sheriff's Office, she is often called to find missing kids or adults with dementia. The sooner we can put the dogs in action, the better the outcome. This map shows Shiloh's entire trail from beginning to end, finding those shoes along the way and eventually the boys four hours and 2.8 miles later. We come around a corner through the, the river or creek and there's these three kids standing there. I was like, hooray, we're found again. <laughs> Thank God that um, the canine knows how to track. We probably would have been out there with flashlights like all night long um, looking for our babies. Her reward is at the end of the trail and then she recognizes oh you're fun you gave me my reward she would love to do that again tomorrow <laughs> we told the kids now so you guys planning on going on to any more adventures no no if not, I could not find anytime soon and they can't because they're grounded in woodbury matt delusia nbc 10 news